I have been in melodic variation mode lately. One, two, one, two, three, four. <laughs> Welcome to today's fiddle video. Today we are going to be learning a tune called Return from Fingal. It is a slow sort of mysterious march and I think you're gonna like it. If you would like sheet music and practice tracks for the tune as well as the variation we're gonna learn plus a harmony and a chord chart you can find a link in the description for that. Without further ado let's get down to business and learn the tune. Alright so the first thing we're going to do is figure out what key we're in so that we know where our fingers are going to go. We are in the key of E Dorian. What is Dorian you ask? Excellent question. We don't have to go too far down the rabbit hole but suffice it to say, Dorian is sort of like minor, but with a raised sixth. So if you were playing a minor scale, an E minor scale, it would go something like this. But Dorian would go. So here's your fingering for that. You're gonna start with your first finger on the D string and you're gonna play one, two, three, and then three, and E. All right, we've got our key signature. Let's figure out our time signature. Return from Fingal is a march, so we're thinking in four, four time, four quarter notes per measure, and that's gonna go one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. All right, we have our key signature, we have our time signature, Let's go ahead and learn the tune. I'm gonna be teaching this tune by ear. So we're going to do phrase by phrase. I'll play one phrase. You can pause the video and try it out. I'll play it again. You can pause it and try it out. I'll play it again. You can try it again. And if you don't get it after three times, that is okay. With the wonders of modern technology, you can always just rewind. As with many fiddle tunes, this tune has an A part, which is the first half of the tune, and a B part, which is the second half of the tune. Each one of those repeats. Let's start out with the A part. Here is the first phrase of the A part. It starts with your first finger on the A string, and it goes like this. One, two, three, four. So the finger numbers for that are one, Three, two, one, two, three, A, one, three, two, one. One more. 
more time. The second phrase of the A part starts with your open A and it'll go like this. One, two, three, four. The fingering for that is A, three, two, A, three, A, one, A, one, two, three, E. The next phrase is exactly the same as the first phrase of the tune, which is kind of nice. Let's review it though. So it starts with your first finger on the A string and goes one, two, three, four. So that's one, three, two, one, two, three, A, one, three, two, one. The next phrase, the last phrase of the A part, believe it or not, starts with your open A and it'll go like this. One, two, three, four. So that is A3, 2, A3, A2, 1, 1. And that, believe it or not, wraps up the whole A part. So let's go ahead and try all of that, stringing those phrases together, starting with your first finger on the A string. 1, 2, 3, 4. Okay, let's keep the momentum going and we're gonna learn the B part of the tune. This part starts with your first finger on the E string and the first phrase will go like this. One, two, three, four. So that's one E, E, three, two, one, A, three, The next phrase is going to start with that first finger on the A string and it'll go like this. One, two, three, four. So that's one, A, three, A, one, A, one, two, three, E. The next phrase is almost exactly the same as the first phrase of the B part, but a little tiny bit different. So it starts with your first finger on the E string and goes like this. One, two, three, four. That's one E, E, three, two, one. And the last phrase of the tune is going to sound very familiar because it is the same as the last phrase of the A part. This is assuming we can remember how the A part sounded at this point. It's going to go like this, starting with your open A, one, two, three, four. we have learned the entire B part, the second half of the tune. Let's play that all the way through, putting all those phrases together, starting with your first finger on the E string. One, two, three, four. And if you'd 
like to try playing the whole tune all the way through, you can go back to the beginning of the video and play it along with me. So now that we've played the whole tune, we could just go on our merry way and play it, and that would be wonderful. But if you'd like to put a bit of a spin on this tune and give it some variations, we could also do that. So now I'm gonna go over three different sort of modifications or variations to this tune. We're gonna talk about a melodic variation, we're gonna talk about some grace notes, and then we're going to talk about another melodic variation because I have been in melodic variation mode lately. So at the very beginning of the tune, we're going to start out this time with a melodic variation, and it's gonna sound like this. One, two, three, four. there is we are taking a part of the tune where there are quarter notes and half notes and we are just making it all eighth notes. So we're sort of filling in some of the rhythmic space that would normally just be resting on one note. So instead of quarter, quarter, half, we're gonna go that's one, a, three, two, right into the next phrase which starts on an A. And that's the only variation we're going to throw into the A part. So let's go ahead and try the whole A part just with that melodic variation. One, two, three, four. part, let's try throwing some variations into the B part. We're going to start right out in the B part with some grace notes. So it's going to sound like this. So what we're doing there is throwing a couple of grace notes in between that first finger and the E. So where the melody goes one E, we're actually going to go one, two, one E. And we want those grace notes, those really quick, light little notes, to happen just before we go to the E. So not but like that. You can practice it really slowly. And then speed it up. And we're gonna do the same thing when we get down to the same fingering on the A string. So after, we go one A. And between that one and the A is where those grace notes are. One, two, one A. And then just to our third finger. So here's how that whole phrase is gonna sound. Then we just move on with our lives. And then here we throw in another melodic variation, same idea as the first melodic variation where we take a part that would have some longer notes and we just divide into shorter notes and sort of dance around the melody a little bit. So it's gonna sound like this. Instead of. So those notes are one, E, three, two, E, three, two, three. And then you just go to the end of the tune. All right, so that's the entire B part variation. Let's give it a whirl. Starting with those grace notes, one, two, one, two, three, four. Variation. 
And if you'd like to try playing that variation all the way through, you can go back to the beginning of the video and play it along with me. It comes up the second time through the tune. All right, fiddlers, that wraps up today's fiddle video. I hope you had fun. If you'd like sheet music and practice tracks for the tune and the variation we learned, as well as a harmony and a chord chart, you can get those at one of the links in the description. You'll also find a link there for all sorts of other fiddle tunes as well. Happy fiddling, and I will look forward to seeing you next time.